that, um, that'll be your middle point. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's so my drift, my drift band. You know, like. That's a nice bench. That's a nice bench, That's mate. A That's a nice, a nice bench. It's <laughs> a nice bench. <laughs> I need a blanket. It's freaking cold. Welcome back to a brand new episode of Project Driveway. Today is an exciting episode, Blake. Do you know why? Because. Um, practicality. Is it? Very. Yeah, well, it will be soon. So let's just get right into it. So, obviously, it's night time, guys. Can't do much about it. But we're going to work through this. Hence, <gasps> where'd my sticker go, bro? <laughs> Someone ripped my sticker. I don't know. I got too many. Someone ripped me. Rip. R.I.P. Damn. All right, so I've done... I'm going to go where the light is. So I've done all the prep work at my house this afternoon to make a bench. I've knocked it all up. I've just got to pre-drill and then just screw it all together. So it should go together pretty good. Which is going to sit here. And then these two seats are going to sit under it for the meantime. And then that means this whole side of the garage... Can all get pushed down the kickback area, gets put down the back near the door, and then it should be all good. Obviously, because it's night time, I can't paint my spoiler, which is sitting up on the to-do list over there. I, we got so much things to do, but so little time. Literally, that's how it ends up being. So this table, will, or this table or bench, bench, table, what's the difference? Um, Tables you can move, benches you can't. Really? I don't know. Um, but this is sturdy. This is heavy duty. So I got the work ute. So somehow we fitted um all the timber in here. Look at this. Not bad for a little coop. Fitting 1.6 meters of timber in with ease. So I've marked and labelled everything. So these are the legs, as you can see. Legs. I've got four of them. You need four legs. Only humans need two legs. Got some braces, another leg. See, look at that. Made it nice and simple and easy. Right top on it and everything. Got the T for the top. Pre-drilled holes. This is this is like IKEA, but built in the garage. <laughs> Let's get to it. So it's just gonna be a square frame, some legs, some braces, some men there for the top. It's gonna sit there and then we can muck around moving stuff and Cleaning up and all that stuff. Sound good, Blackup? Look at that. <laughs> Sturdy, mate. Right, check this out. This might be the last, well, it's not going to be the last time I work on the ground, but it will be a lot better with a bench that I can work on over there. So when I have mods and stuff to do, I can do it over there instead of over here on my knees, which isn't fun. Bit of hard work. Update report. Oh, one leg. So obviously it's upside down, guys, if you haven't worked that out. But I gotta do the same on the other side, which is just a leg up here, a leg up here. Two screws going through that way, one screw going through that. That's pretty solid. Once there's a brace in between both legs, one side's going to be open so we can get a chair and pull stuff in and out. If we um, want to modify it later, we can put a shelf in, obviously, and stuff like that. So I'll knock this other side up and then I'll probably flip it over and we'll go from there. Blake was going to give me a hand. Just putting the tabletop on, which is just made out of... Um, I think it's 8mm MDF, I believe. Hey, hey. This one off them? Yeah. Every week. <laughs> Get in there, nice deep hike. Blanket. Pack it and blanket. Yep. <laughs> Got, it. Got the wrong clothes on, mate. Next year on the car keys. Yeah. That should be it. We'll probably see what else we can do this year. 
<laughs> Put some neons on it. Shit. Oh, yeah. Alright, let's go, Black. Team, project. Driveway. Yeah. Yo. All done. We're, We're done, Black. Yeah, so. Bench. About two seconds ago for you was yesterday for us. Yeah, whole night. When we um, revamped the garage. Yeah. So we got a little work area, a little kickback spot. We can work on the laptop and stuff. And yeah, it all worked out. Yeah, so, very well. Trolley's on wheels, obviously. We can move out of the way. Got all our stock parts, bolts, all that stuff. Some more crap down there. But at least we got a bench to work on. Too bad I don't need a bench today, Blake. Yeah, neither of us. Nah. It's, uh, it's very nice to lean on. It is. It's also nice to put new car parts on. <laughs> like this one. So what I've got here is a steering wheel cover because a new steering wheel is expensive. Really expensive. Like oh, yeah. Close to, you know. A grand. Yeah, close to a grand. You can pretty much just put it. Just under a grand. Yeah, just under a grand. So I got this cover. It was about uh, 100 bucks or so. I'm going to see how it goes. Got the red stitching on it. It was custom made somewhere in America, I believe. Oh, that's cool. That's, that, um, that'll be your middle point. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's my, so drift, my drift band. Make sure I know <laughs> where, what angle I'm on. And yeah, got red stitching, red stripe at the top, and it's made out of suede material, which is pretty pretty thick. So it seems pretty solid. It is. It's decent material. Um, so it doesn't feel... Too cheap, which is good. They also came with uh, some instructions, which I'm sure is how I'm going to struggle with. And we got some. What's looks like we got some tape. I don't know. We got um, a plastic trim removal tool, or maybe to tuck the ends in, and a needle, some thread, and some metal ring. So we'll find out what all that's for in a minute. But um, I do have to remove my airbag to remove the trim. Sorry. Isn't that right, Blake? Song. It is, but we can play in a second. Oh, here we go, Blake. I might need help with this, Blake. <laughs> I'm not good with instructions. Um, yep, 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 yeah. All right, so, oh, no, she's making a bit of sense, Blake. So these are the original, um, original, like, things, because these are going to be folded over, so it's going to go around the steering wheel, and that's the original, like, dots you can say or the stitching original stitching is this so from one side to the other side then we're going to go there then we go across then we go on the angle down one then we go from there to the other one and then we keep weaving together until we get to the end and then we tie a fancy ass knot it looks like oh look at, and even pictures oh my god these guys are grouse pictures how oh, oh, was it right yeah what's the tape for what's the ring for i want to know what the ring is for for your finger, so you don't oh, stab yourself. Oh no! Oh no! Is he wearing a ring? No. Nah, he's just manned up and went for it, man. What's this tape? I can't read upside down. Start to stick. stick. Double-sided adhesive tape. Use scissors when sticking for neat appearance. So I'm going to do that mod today, and we'll see how much of it I get done. Hopefully, the whole thing. Or say, I'm driving and nowhere. Just half on. Nah. That around. Nah. We'll work it. So I gotta pull the airbag out. So I need a long ass screwdriver. That will do. And now, see you, Blake. It's a nice bench. It's a nice bench. All right, so I'm gonna remove the steering. So I'm gonna move the air. I'm going to move the airbag just to make my life easier to tuck it in and make it, you know, nice and flush. Especially down here, it's really tight, so I need to remove this trim piece, but first I need to remove this. To remove the actual steering wheel, there's holes on the side with the metal tab. There's one on each side and one at the bottom. You do that, you pop it out, and then you've got your um, airbag clip, and then you just undo the plug, pop that out, put it beside you or put it somewhere where it's safe so it doesn't explode and hit you in the face and then I'm pretty sure it's just two screws down here um, it's been a while since I pulled this one off to paint it so I just pull the two screws off and then we can pull that out and then we can start with the steering wheel stuff cool there's three now we go up 
pluggy deuce. One. Alright, so I've got the airbag out. You've got one clip there, which would be your cruise control and your horn, which you've got a tab down here that this blue wire goes to. In your BRZ, it might be different, obviously. And then you've got this, which is your airbag wire. You can try and undo it from the actual plug up there, or you can just get a flat screwdriver and pry it up from both sides. Be gentle, because they don't just sell the plug, or the clip, sorry. They don't just sell the clip. So if you do break it, you're going to probably have to get a new airbag, because or try and find a car that's parting out. But um, let's get that off and get that out of the way. Adam, Adam, take the bomb, take the bomb, oh, take the bomb, uh, take the bomb. Push my, push that's, my an, that's an airbag, by the way. I know. Yeah, you don't want that going off. Hey, probably put it somewhere safe. Out the way. Out the road? Um, maybe under Blake's seat. Yeah, we've got this guy. Then we need my screw. Oh man, it went down there. I really shouldn't have done that. It was stupid. What are you doing, Blake? That's a nice bench. That's a nice bench, That's mate. A That's nice a nice bench. bench. <laughs> it's a nice bench. <laughs> <laughs> Alright, well, Blake's admiring the nice bench. It's not even called the workbench. It's a nice That's a nice hey. bench. Hey, where's the screwdrivers on the nice bench? <laughs> <laughs> Hey, can you get my drink? Where is it? On oh, the nice bench. <laughs> hey, what's the knife? It's on the nice bench. <laughs> That's, That's cool. a thumb, thumble. Thumbnail? Thumb no, nah, thumble. Thumble, yeah, so you don't poke yourself. But I we're not. use that as a ring. Yeah. You could probably use it as a stretcher. I feel like. In no. your ear. 12 mil. No, they're going to be about 14. Yeah, jam it in, mate. Let's go up a size. No, I think that might Let's get some right. dick going. Can I do it? <laughs> Shall I? <laughs> yeah, it's gonna stretch, <laughs> and you're not what? gonna get it back you're in. You're not gonna get that one back in. <laughs> no, you get that one back in. All right. So. Oh yeah, no, it's a bit big. Oh. I won't go in. All right, so I got my double sided tape all on, so we can move over to the car and yell and scream at this until it gets done. Don't forget to swear at it. <laughs> I will. If I got a problem, I'll come back to that. Nice switch. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> all right, so we're in dopey. Got the steering wheel. Airbag out, got double sided tape on. We're not going to pull double sided tape off until later. So I'm just going to pop the camera on the side and get this cover on and go from there. I've never done this before, so this could take a lot longer than I thought. Also, my arms and my head are most likely going to be in the way of the camera. But we'll find out. Oh, so I've got it on. That feels actually really nice. So it looks like we're pretty close to the middle. I just gotta strain the steering wheel up and make sure from this point in the middle it's directly in line with my red band at the top of the steering wheel. But first, I need my keys. Hey! 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 Hey there! Are my keys on the nice bench? Are they? <laughs> Are they? Yeah. Can you get it? I think. No. Nah. Nah. Oh. Are they on the uh, Are they on the shit bench? Not on the shit bench. The other shit bench. What other shit bench? Oh, are they on that thing called a table? No. Okay, we've lost the keys. Shit. I got them. They're in the shit car. I got it. Oh. Now it says on the instructions to go opposite. So pull this tape and just pull it all the way around and go opposite to get it all locked in. So it's not going to shift on you as you start sewing because you're going to start sewing from a point in the corner and then go all the way around and you're going to end here. Then you're going to do another one, another one. So you've got three full sections to go. And because I removed my trim piece, 
and my airbag just to make it easier for me I don't need to um, tuck this in which it would have might have it might have held it in there a bit better but I thought being open it might be a little bit nicer um, around the back I don't know what's going on there but I'm gonna have to tuck it in there somehow um, other than that it has to tuck in here in this piece here I'll we'll have to tuck in behind there um, but we'll see how we go Alright, so that was a lot of work, but um, I don't know if the double sided tape is going to make my life easier or harder later to sew this. You can still pull it up and pull it back down, but if it does get in the way, I'll just pull it all off completely. I think I'll start, oh, I don't know if I should start at the bottom, do the smaller piece first. No, I might start at the top and then work my way around the whole thing so I'll start in this corner here and go up and all the way around over to here Good at many things, sewing isn't one. Look at this mess. Look what I've done. Gosh, I'm all over the place. Uh, what they don't tell you is don't try and use all the thread. All right, so they give you this whole they give you two of these as you would have seen before. There's like meterage by meterage on there. Trying to do it with all that means once you go through, you're going to put all this material. All the way through, all the way through. That's what I did. That's what happened there. But um, instead, I just sort of measured all the way around here with one, like with the string. And then I tripled it. So hopefully I got enough length to get from here all the way through to in here. But in theory, all I'm doing is every stitch that I'm going to, I'm doubling the length. So in theory, if it was this long, it should be double. And then I gave it another another full length from here to here all the way around so hopefully um that's long enough because you it'd suck if you got to here and then you run out because then you'd really want to start again you wouldn't want to start again and then continue it you could but you probably wouldn't so my suggestion is is start with the bottom but i'm not going to i'm going to keep tackling the top but yeah start with the bottom that's smaller shorter so you can get, probably get your head wrapped around a little bit quicker than um doing it the way i'm doing it but i'm going to be persistent Do you know how painful this shit is? Sewing? Yeah. This is my first mistake. Oh. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I'll tell you what guys, if you're going to do this mod, make sure you got plenty of time because this is a very time consuming um, mod. So I, I've literally went from here all the way down to just here, so like not even a quarter of the steering wheel and that, that's taken me over an hour. But I did have stuff up before, like I said I was just trying to use too much string, so I'll save that string, I haven't tangled or anything yet. And I'm just going to have to keep going all the way around and then again here and again here. And once I've stitched it all, I'll come back because this time lapse, honestly, it could go for a long time. So that's what I was going to do, but um, I'll just keep plugging away and do the best. So it seems to be all right. Pretty much the aim of the game is to just get these two pieces meeting and then you get to fold it over, 
stretch, pull, stretch, pull, don't go too much or you end up snapping the string and then you have to start again and you have, end up having a tie somewhere down here. But um, bit by bit, it's not right at him. That's right at him. See you, bye. What's wrong, mate? It's nothing. I'm just a bit tired. Here you go. Yeah, hey, it looks all right. Tired? Yeah. You can tell like where I've just like haven't pulled it tight enough. Oh, okay. But um, for my first attempt, I'm pretty pretty happy with yeah, it. Yeah, they're, right. they're pretty equal. Not like 100%, but hey, I ain't no professional. Yeah, you're doing I'm pro, this I'm first time. pro-am, man. I got something for you, want it? Yes, please. Yeah. Do I have to close my nose? Yep. Is it slimy? Stand back. No, it's not slimy. Try and hit me in the nuts. Oh, the camera's not even on me. It's here. Oh, fuck. <laughs> it's a fuzzy! Because I got one too! Fuck yeah. Yeah, they didn't have um, your model. Oh, that's cool. That's all they had. It's Drift Apple. Yeah. Let's see, it's on TV. Pretty cool. I, yes, didn't even I, look, I didn't even look at what it was on. Fuck yeah, that's fat, man. That's fucking yeah. fat. I got one up here. Little AE. Poppy. Fuck yeah, that's sick. Little fuzz. They actually smell pretty good too. Yeah? Yeah. Oh, look at, look at Adam. He's on the nice bench. Nice bench. <laughs> <laughs> what are you going to do today? Um, I don't know. I think you should do something. I could do my breaks, but I could. But, I don't know. Maybe you should paint my spoiler. Me? Yeah. Maybe you won't fuck it. <laughs> <laughs> If you're knitting, where's safety first? Nah, don't need that. How does that even help? Like, right, you're meant to not be able to stab yourself with the needle. Yeah. Oh. oh Alright, watch out. I got work to do. Okay, you concentrate. Welcome back. We're back. I'm back. My steering wheel is all done, so let's just get straight into it. Because this took me. How long did it take me, Blake? Uh, I'd give it about six, seven hours. About six, seven hours, because yeah. I did done. Did done effed up, huh? For a positive reason. All right, so this took me a lot longer than what I thought it was gonna be, but the outcome of that is killer. So it's all in there. With the red band at the top, red stitching. So if you have a look at the stitching, it looks really nice, very VIP luxury sort of looking, or I reckon, um, because I ended up going every single stitch where on the manual, I misread it, and you meant to go one stitch, skip the one across it, and go up one. So you go from this one here, skip the one opposite, and go up one, and vice versa. You always skip one that is opposite. I did every single one, so it's all on there. It feels absolutely grouse, like, I don't know, it just feels, feels really nice. 70, 80 bucks worth of a steering wheel cover, and it is good as gold, like, it's not, perfect like is my first time stitching but it does look pretty good so i'm pretty happy with that um actually i'm really happy with that so it um it doesn't rotate or anything because it's double-sided tape and it is really tight um fits the trim really good all the corners and stuff like here yeah i could have done a little bit better job but other than that really happy um Hopefully it doesn't wear out too soon with like my rings, I wear rings on my fingers. But that is all that done. And I think we're done. That's done for this video. We're done for this video. Anything for to say, Blake? Um Give him some posit something positive, Blake. There's a few cool mods coming up very soon. Yeah. Like actually cool mods. Yeah, there's a lot. Yeah, oh fuck yeah. a lot. But the question is, is Pat ever gonna finish his spoiler? This is what the people want to know. Um, you still have a spoiler? That, really? Where'd it go? The hubcap. The one behind the hubcap. Oh, that's yours? Yeah. I don't know who put that there. It's yeah, I thought it was Bo Reports. Bo Reports is here too. Bo Reports is here too. There he is. All right, so that's it. There, that is it for us. Keep on modding. Keep on doing your thing. And we'll see you on the next episode of Project Driver next week. Peace.